So yeah, you, me, and Britney Spears. I mean, Eli already spilled the beans a bit in the intro, but uh, and you probably already heard, but as of a now-deleted Instagram post on Monday, Britney has joined our ranks, immediately becoming the most high-profile atheist this side of China. And, and not only did she say that she didn't believe in God anymore, y'all, but she used the A word, as in, quote, I'm an atheist, y'all, end quote. And look, we, we don't generally spend a lot of time on this show talking about celebrity gossip. You know, generally speaking, it doesn't really matter which celebrities are atheists and which are Christian, unless the Christian ones belong to homophobic churches and then get cast as the voice of fucking Mario, despite not sounding anything like Mario for some stupid fucking reason. But in Britney's case, I feel like it does matter. And for a couple of reasons, right? The first is simply her visibility. Right? In her prime, she was probably one of the most beloved celebrities in the fucking world. Her fan base, or at least her former fan base, spans the political and economic spectrum. Hearing her use the word atheist stands to have a real impact on a lot of those people, right? Like when my niece, who lived and breathed Britney Spears in her tween years, found out that her aunt and I were atheists, her literal first response was, isn't that something evil? She was fucking grown up at this point, okay? But her only exposure to the word atheist in rural Georgia was as a pejorative. So if nothing else, being able to say, I'm an atheist, just like Britney, would have softened the blow for her a little bit. But there's another aspect of this that makes it worth talking about in the diatribe, and, and that's been the response within the atheist movement. See, the context around this matters. Now, I'm not going to go into the whole backstory of all Britney Spears shit, because odds are overwhelmingly in favor of you knowing more about it than me going into this. But suffice to say, she's been through a lot of fucked up shit with some next level family drama stuff. And in the Instagram story, she was responding to interviews with her estranged family about that stuff when she said, quote, God would not allow that to happen to me if a God existed. I don't believe in God anymore because of the way my children and my family have treated me. There is nothing to believe anymore. I'm an atheist, y'all. Now, I would imagine that many of you hear that and your first reaction is to, is to wince a little bit, right? I mean, it, it does kind of reek of the cancer mom origin story we so often see in Christian movies and TV shows, and it plays right into that stereotype that Christians have about us that says we're only professing our atheism because we're mad at God, because some terrible thing happened in our past, and if we could just be made to understand why God would put us through that, we would rush back into the arms of Mother Church. And if that wince was your first response, rest assured that you weren't alone. Okay, a lot of prominent atheist voices chimed in with exactly that message on Twitter and Instagram and their blogs, etc. A lot of people felt the need to clarify that while they're very sorry for all the terrible shit that Britney's been through with her family, presenting atheism as though it were a trauma response undermines the logical underpinnings behind the non-believers worldview. Most atheists, according to these responses, shed their God belief not for emotional reasons, but for intellectual ones. And while I am sympathetic to the instinct that leads to this response, I think it's worth pointing out that this response also plays into a problematic stereotype about atheists. And, and not the one that we're cold and logical, but rather the one that says that we're incapable of recognizing the emotional impetus behind our actions. I mean, I, I think that we all know that most religious people would also tell you that they arrived at their beliefs through a logical consideration of the facts. They're, they're wrong in this instance, but they're no wronger than we are when we pretend that emotional trauma and anger at the circumstances doesn't drive people to atheism. I don't know the percents here, and I can't even imagine how one might obtain them, but I know that a lot of us got here through emotion. At least at first, a lot of us are here, quite frankly, because we were mad at God at some point. I mean, if you think about it, most people who leave religion, like the logical rejection comes way before the admission of atheism. The whole concept of a crisis of faith is born out of this need to deal with the ubiquity of believers finding themselves unable to pound the round peg into the square hole anymore, right? Whole industries exist to deal with the rampant logical inconsistencies that religious people have to reconcile themselves to. And apologists for Christianity are rife with get out of jail free phrases like, you know, you, well, I guess you're going to have to talk to God about that or the Lord works in mysterious ways, all that kind of shit, right? All it takes is one glance around a creationist museum or preferably save your money and, you know, just look around the website of one to see that illogic isn't the universal tipping point we so often pretend it to be on this subject, right? So, so yeah, a lot of people come to atheism by way of anger, by way of betrayal. You, many of you listening, even some of you who would say, you know, that you got here through a purely logical and dispassionate review of the evidence, were only driven to look at that evidence with an open mind in the first place because of some traumatic event that a loving God would never have put you through. 
as a species, we tend to be terrible at parsing out which parts of our conclusions come from emotion and which come from logic. And if you don't believe me, by the way, try arguing with virtually any man about virtually any topic, right? But we're emotional beings. I mean, me personally, like I cry at three out of four Christmas commercials and I scream at misleading street signs. So I, I know this is no great revelation about me, but it may be something that you or an atheist you know needs to be reminded of. When we pretend that our decisions were made in some intellectual vacuum, some nether realm devoid of emotion, we're lying to ourselves and the people around us. It's literally impossible for that to be true. That's not how brains work. Claiming otherwise gives the religious people another reason to dismiss our claims. But if we admit that we first started questioning God's existence because of what he did to our dog or to our grandma or to our relationship or whatever, sure, maybe we're opening ourselves up to some really annoying apologetics, but we're also being honest with the apologist. We're giving them more reason to connect with our journey and more likelihood of seeing a reflection of their own journey somewhere along the way. 